Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily work on cells in a notebook, in Jupyter Notebook. So we have a sample notebook here, we created it. Let us create a new notebook and understand the cell concept completely. Go to file, click on new notebook and click on Python 3. You can see the link, it's under desktop, Amit Python folder, name is untitled, you can change the name to, let's say, second notebook and click on rename. Now we have our second notebook here, you can check. So it was under desktop and we have our second notebook now, here, okay. Now minimize and uh, we will add something, let's say. So before beginning that, this is a cell, okay. So I'll be adding a code in a cell. You can add different cells in a single notebook, in a notebook. So let's say, I'll add it Amit here and I'll just uh, press shift plus enter to get the output. So this is the output of a cell. Let's say I'll print uh, a number, press enter, shift plus enter, we printed it, okay. Here it is. Okay, now let's say, we have two cells now, you have kept the cursors here. We have two cells now, one and two means the cells. When you'll keep the cursor here, let's say I'll keep the cursor, it will automatically create a new cell. Okay, so let's say I want to delete this cell. Let's say I'll add a new text. Let's say I'll just uh, add something for an example and shift plus enter. That's it, we added it. Now, let's say you need to delete the third cell we just created. I'll just keep the cursor here and I'll go to edit and here and I'll just click on delete. When I'll click on delete cell, the third cell will get deleted because I've selected it, delete cells. So it got deleted, you can see. In the same way, you can go to edit and work around cut cell, copy cells. You can do that easily. You can also undo the thing we just did. That is we deleted the cell. We can undo it. When I'll undo it, the third cell is visible again here. I'll keep the cursor here on the cell and I'll click on edit again. It will allow you to merge two cells. You can move this cell up or move it down. Let's say I'm explaining someone. So I want to explain the calculations first and this one later. So what I'll do, I can go here and I'll just click on edit and click on move cell up. It moved one location above. Above, I want to keep this on the top. Keep the cursor here again and I'll just click on edit and click on move cell up. That's it. So now we have our calculations on the top. Okay, so this is very easy. Now we need to explain someone, you need to send this notebook to someone, to a newbie, to a naive user, to a layman user, to a beginner in Python, how you will explain him that what you are doing in the three codes in a single notebook. So for that, obviously we can add headings. How? Keep your cursor anywhere, let's say I kept it here. Now I'll go to insert and I'll click on insert cell above. After clicking insert cell, I'll, I have my cursor here. I'll go to the following section and click on heading. Now you can also add heading, I told you. This is how you can add heading. If you want a level one heading, hope you know in HTML we have levels for heading. If you want a level one heading, add a single hash. For level two, add double hash and the heading here. For three, add three hash. I'll show you. I'll show it to you. Click on OK. Now we have our single heading here. Let's say I'll add. Uh, let's say I'll add Python program. This is our level one. I need to add a space here. I'll keep the cursor in space. Here is our level one. Shift plus enter. That's it. Now let's say I'll explain it here again. I'll go to insert and click on insert cell above. Now here in I'll add level 2 heading. So after keeping the cursor select heading and now we will add level 2. Okay. Displaying calculations in a program. This is fine, no space, shift plus enter. That's it, I have level 2. Now I'll add level 2 for all because this is the first heading Python program, complete Python program and below we have our sections. Now I'll keep the cursor here and I hope you know what I'll do. I'll click on insert and click on insert cell above. Here it is. Convert to heading. Okay. Add uh, two for level two and now displaying text in a code. Shift plus enter. Now we have two H2 level two headings. So easier to explain. Do the same for the following. Now what I'll do, I'll just keep the cursor here and click on insert cell below. Right. So this will work for the following print 5 
for a number convert it to heading okay two headings that is level 2 that's it uh, displaying numbers in a python program shift plus enter so now we have our complete program let me minimize and we have our complete notebook here wherein uh, i have a python program with heading 1 this is our calculations because we are calculating here this is for text and this is for numbers that's it so this is how you can work on cells you can now click on cell here again you can run the you can run a single cell or you can run all the cells you can go to edit with that you can go to edit and you can split the cells you can uh, perform find and replace under cells okay with that you can also cut the cells and copy cells and delete the cells okay now when you will go to file and click on print preview let's say what is visible it is visible in a proper proper format or you can go to sorry you can go to the file to your second notebook the following you can let's say click on download as let's say I'll download it as HTML here it is and when I'll double click it is it will be visible in a proper way here it is HTML file so that you can explain it to anyone now I'll again go to second notebook click on download as let's say .py python file now it will download it now I'll right click and click on show in folder now it's visible here right click let's say I'm only showing it using a basic notepad even in that you can see your markdown code is visible and this is how we worked around and here you can see .py file is visible and here is your code okay so guys in this video we saw how we can easily work around the cells in notebook we worked around cells how we can add delete insert cell above below merge thank you for watching the video